Um, I know it's a, a tough note to end on, but uh, just the way this team finished the season and you know starting fourteen and twenty and battling in the conference finals, how much do you feel like you guys can sustain this and, and have the building blocks to do this to win at this level consistently moving forward? I mean, we saw what it takes, you know. And we saw how um, how you're getting further. The games um, are getting harder and tougher, and you know matchups and uh, is getting even more physical every single game. You know, um, in every single round. So it's it's a great experience for all, for all of us. You know, with uh, a lot of ups ups and downs we had this year, and um, you know uh, from now on it's only going to be harder for us. You know, this is the first time and the first time you do it, you know, it's kind of easier a little bit, you know, because um, you don't know what to expect. And from now, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be harder and uh, we're going to be ready for it. Chris, what's the season been like for you personally after signing here in the off season and also rebuilding the season? The, the craziest year by far in my career, for sure. Um, like so many thoughts, so many, you know, um, uh, at the beginning, especially, you know, where I'm going to end up, uh, what's going to happen with my career. Um, then I, I, I get hurt. Uh, then that trade line, you know, my name was dropping all over the places. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm proud that, you know, coming back of an injury that I had, you know, fighting for a spot back in a team. Um, and, um, you know, such a challenging year for me. And uh, at the end of the year, you know, I'm I'm happy with what I did. Uh, not, not satisfied, just a little bit happy with how the year ended up for me. Jeff? I know everybody's playing through some sort of injury. I mean, I understand him and I feel him and I know what it feels like, you know, to uh, play with injuries. You know, I've been playing, I don't know, since game four against Philly. I tweak my ankle, then I twist my ankle, then uh, my knee started to hurt because of that compensation and I, I couldn't go right at all. Like, and that's my side, you know, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's completely, you know, you, every play you have to think about it, you know, and um, I'm proud of him, you know, getting out there and, and uh, competing. That means he cares about this team. He cares about, you know, he knows the value of these games, you know, um, at this stage, at this level, and he give it everything, you know, and it, it was good to see him over there, even that he was hurt. It was hard for him. You, you could tell. But um, I'm happy that, that he played tonight. And I'm just curious, what was the scene like in the locker room? I mean, it was, it was kind of, it was mixed emotions. You know, it was sad and happy. And, you know, like the season is finally over. You know, that this is the season. Um, season was really hard for every team. You know, Corona, uh, so many games packed in, in um, after the All-Star break, especially. You know, we, we couldn't rest, uh, so many injuries. And uh, I mean, um, we're just proud, you know, that, that we finished the way we finished, you know. Um, but I, I, I could tell we, we were not like completely happy, you know, because at the end of the day, we lost this game. We lost this round and but we, 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 we learned and we saw what it takes to, to get here, you know. Sarah. Bogey, Nate talked about how, he talked with you guys about how um, he felt y'all shocked the NBA this year. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? And do you feel like you guys kind of send a message about this franchise moving forward? I agree. I agree with him. Um, we definitely shocked the NBA. You know, no one expected us to be, uh, before the All-Star break, they didn't expect us uh, being in, uh, in playoffs, as far as I remember. Even earlier in the season, in the beginning of the year, I think we were um, ranked um, something around 9, 10, something like that. 
which is fine, you know, it's challenging. And that's why I said, you know, from next year, uh, whatever you do less, like from ne next uh, upcoming years, you know, whatever you do less um, is going to be like a fail, you know? Uh, so that's why I say it's going to be, it's only going to be harder from this point. And um, what I'm happy about this team is um, what, what uh, Nate said when, when he was even assistant coach, he said just, he was pretty quiet back then, but he said one thing, you know, um, when coach LP um, needed him to say something, he called him out and he said, hey, guys, um, one thing I know in NBA, this place in Atlanta was, you know, easy win. Whoever came here last couple of years was like easy win. So like, let's make sure this year, you know, we get back to that, you know, they, the teams needs to be prepared for this, this game here. It is not going to be easy. So um, I think we did that, and that's what makes me proud and my team proud about it. You brought up Nate. Um, how much do you credit him for the turnaround that you got? I mean, I know it's, it is a group effort, but how much do you credit him for the turnaround that you guys were able to undergo? So much, for real. Like, uh, he, he was a player, so he knows how to challenge the players, and he would challenge them all the time, you know? Every single one of us, you know, and um, he sees all these little things, you know, when someone is down, how to get him up, how to give him that confidence, watch the tape with the players, um, you know, listen, see what, what he sees, what a player sees. So um, uh, I like him. I like him and um, I'm very proud of him. Okay, Jelani. First question from Zoom will come from Zach Klein. Yeah, man, it, it, playing 14 games in basically 28 days, just every other month or every other day, rather, uh, game. Yeah. Is, is you guys are just tired? I mean, because you guys had good looks with the threes. I mean, both teams just struggling with the open shot. Is that just what the schedule, you know, it takes its toll on you guys? At the end of the day, it's all mental, you know. <laughs> you know, um, when you come to this far and you're tired, you have to do whatever, you know, to prepare for this game. You know, to don't look tired at least, and to go through it. You know, we all been in these situations. Um, it's, it's different, you know, in playoffs and in regular season. But uh, um, yeah, at the end of the day, that that one shot, two shots, if they don't fall in, the other team takes the lead. That's what it's all about in the playoffs. Christos. Hey, brother. Hope you're doing well. What yeah. What are the aspects that make you uh, confident about next season for that group? Of guys, I mean, we show um, the, the way we want to play, and we show the confidence, and we show uh, belief that we have, you know, and we we saw what it takes, um, you know. And um, when you know how to get there, you know how to win the games, how to win the crucial games. Um, uh, this is this is only a learning experience for all, all of us, you know. Uh, it's 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 a first playoff season for me too here, you know. So. And it's different. It's different than, than in your league. It's different than in Europe. Um, it's a different stage, you know. And uh, um, as I said, it's going to be tough, but it's going to be uh, challenging. And I think our team is ready for this challenge. Allison. Hey, Bogey, you talked about it, that this season was just so unique from COVID, and then you guys had to deal with a coaching a change and then injuries. What did you learn about yourself this season? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to start, really, but um, uh, I feel like I, I prove it one more time, you know, that um, when you when you – when you feel like so bad and you feel miserable and um, you're so down, you're touching the earth, you know, and you're smelling the dirt and everything. And um, you're so low, but you still find a way to get up and, you know, fight through it. And um, I will never, you know, um, lose that in myself, you know, like I will always have that confidence to get back, you know, even after like the worst, worst days and, um, um, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm going to fight through it and I'm going to find a way. Final question from Maria Martin. 
Bogey, you talked about all of the adversity that this group has overcome and everything that you guys have been able to accomplish this season. What's made you the most proud to be a part of this group in particular? You know, how young they are and how um, competitive they are. Um, you know, there's a lot of young guys. They somehow, you know, I see in NBA, you know, they, it looks like they, they don't like to compete, you know, every single night. They'd be picking the games and all that. Um, but this group here, they would, you know, uh, they were fighting through injuries. Uh, they were ready to play every single night. Um, they understand what it takes to win. You know, they saw it and they accepted. Um, and everyone is willing to sacrifice. You know, it's it's hard to do it. And when you have this this uh, type of the group, they want to sacrifice. Um, you know, then then it makes it easier to to win games and uh, to 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 keep this organization going. You know, in the right direction. So um, that's what makes me proud of this this group. Thank you, Bogi. Thank you so much.